What's going on everyone? It's Chris from Exile Gaming and today we're talking green screens. Okay, to get started, we're going to need a camera, obviously. We're going to need a green screen, that makes sense. But more importantly, we're going to need some decent lighting. Now, lighting is so important when it comes to green screening or chroma keying because uh, if the um, the green screen itself isn't lit up, it's going to have your computer is going to have trouble with recognizing and distinguishing between the background and the subject. The subject in this case being um, us, the person who's sat in front of the camera. So I'm using a Sony 5100, and I've got uh, like a like a ring light that's going around it at the moment. I've also got a light over here, which is a tube light. I have a light in the corner, which you cannot see. Let's just change that. You know, so if we set it to it like a green, we've got another light over in the corner and then we have got just down here a little um hugo i think they're called you orb hue orb they're called the orbs um and again so i've just got the hue app on both of my phone i've got it connected to my stream deck but just for demonstration purposes i can change the color and so if i wanted to go bright white it goes bright white Chroma keying or green screening is quite intensive on the computer. So you have to ask yourself the question, is it worth it? Like, is my stream going to benefit massively from this and reducing the performance of my computer? So to remove the background and render it every single second, every single frame, and put that on top of your gameplay, for example, and then squash that down, encode it, and send it off to a streaming service of some sort or record or whatever it's it's that's going to put a lot of stress on the actual computer itself so ask yourself the question like is it important do i need it if the answer is still yes then brilliant you can create some really cool effects but it's worth just noting that it does put some cpu usage into you know or or extra cpu usage into removing that background so the green screens themselves I say green screens, I should I should get it into my head to say chroma keys because it's not necessarily just green screen that we can do this with. We can do this with a blue background, black background, white background. We could do this with any color if we wanted to. The only problem that we've got there is obviously if I change this and said, right, okay, I'm going to have a blue background behind me. Now, if there was blue edges or blue on my top or blue in my eyes or whatever, it's going to have issues with removing those those colors or distinguishing those colors from the blues that it should remove to the blues that it shouldn't remove and what we find is with this particular color green you don't find many eyes you know a luminous green or colors on the top or hats or hair or whatever a luminous green if you did you're gonna have issues like if you got a, you know a bright green top on you're gonna have a floating head there's no there's no getting around that so just something to take into consideration that you don't necessarily just have to use green screens you could use anything in reality it's just you need to make sure that there's a distinguisher between the subject us and the background the green screen also green screens come in many shapes and forms and sizes and prices and everything and as with everything so what i'll do is i'll list down in the description some variations of the the green screens that you can get but you can start off really cheap and you could go with something along the lines of like a, a piece of fabric which you've got a pin up and so get get a few pins get a, get a sheet of fabric 10 20 you're looking around that mark and you can probably get going with that now the issue with that is obviously the fabric can let light through quite easily as can as can paper um so you need to be thinking about your position and whether you're sat be you know with your back against the background uh, against the wall whether the, the curtains are open because that's going to affect the lighting and everything obviously as well so just some considerations to make Moving on from that, you can use what is, uh, I, I forget the term, but, but essentially it's a green screen, like a pop-up. Can you, can you remember when you were younger and you'd have like those those tubes that you would like open up and they would just like spring open? One of those basically, just not as, you know, crazy. So you can strap them onto the back of the chair and some of them come with actual straps that strap around the chair. So as you sit down, the subject itself is completely green screened and it goes out, you know, like this far either side. On the other end though, you've got Elgato green screens, which that's what we're using today, but it's, it is a bit more pricey. So I think last time that I saw it was around like the 150-ish mark. 
essentially it allows you to slide up from the bottom and tuck your green screen away so right now i've got my green screen just here and let's just slide it up slide it up and it, it it's just tucked away and you don't have to worry now it's got braces on the back of it so as you do slide it up it'll just prop itself up and you've obviously got legs um at the bottom which you can just turn around just to make sure it's a little bit more stable but other than that it'll just slide down and it just goes away nice and easy so I've gone ahead and turned all the lights bright white. I've set the key light to be as bright as it can be. I am just looking at the actual green screen itself. And I've got a little bit of shading up in the top left and a little bit right behind me. So maybe I'm wondering if like the angle is a little bit off or the light needs readjusting, but it's just something that I need to be aware of. Obviously, I don't want too much shading because as the, the, the green is green that I can make it and consistent all the way through. I'm going to make it a lot easier for the computer. So it's much, much more, it's much easier for me to control a light and how bright it is than it is to actually, you know, up the performance of the actual computer. So it's just something to bear in mind. So to add the actual chroma key, what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and click on filters. Once we're there, we're going to click on the little plus effect and click chroma key and just say okay and the default settings have been pretty good straight away you know we've got some issues down in the bottom like around right here um but they're not too bad we've obviously got a little bit of color spill so just to quickly go through the the settings themselves we've got key color type green this is what we were talking about a second ago we don't necessarily just have to use green we could use blue for example but if i if i select the blue i look like something out of a horror film magenta apparently apparently i've got quite a lot of magenta in my lips who would have known anyway you get the idea so um i'm, I'm going to choose green and what I want to do is just tweak the settings a little bit. So similarity, you know, obviously if I change this down, I, you know, I'm saying like, I don't, I, it's got to be that one shade of green and only that one shade of green. If I bring that up, you know, it starts accepting multiple shades because obviously we've got a difference in shading um, up across the, the, the board itself, the, the campus, sorry, the Elgato itself. So if I change this, let me just reduce this down so we can see both at the same time. If I reduce this, now i'm getting quite close actually that's not a million miles away so what we're 437 there all i've done is just said like i want to increase a few more shades of green into my actual um you know the removal of the background but if i added smoothness in there again it'll just start re removing a little bit and color spill color spill is quite good for actually um the, the green edges that you get but that seems to have done the job what i don't want is to remove too much detail from from the subject me in in this instance so i'm going to leave it as is there now as you can see we've got some issues with the background one is there's a background and two is it's it's you know it's graying out and that's because it's picking up these different shades so the shades that we said like start paying attention to so obviously if we're wearing quite a close color like i was saying earlier if if we've got like a green top on or something along those lines we're going to have issues where it's going to be difficult for it to dis dis distinguish between can't speak distinguish between the what is on the person like a jacket or a top or a hoodie whatever and what is the actual background so just bear that in mind so to fix this what you're going to want to do is select your layer i'm just going to resize this right now and um, we could have done this before or after and then i'm going to click on my layer uh, hold alt I'm just going to drag the sides in and what that does is it tells it tells um, OBS that we want to just create a clip. Now obviously I'm cutting my hand off a little bit at the moment and that's just because of the position of the camera whilst I'm recording and uh, I'm not actually facing my gaming screen so it, it's not too much of an issue but obviously if I sat a bit more in a natural position then it will be fine. So now we have our green screen and we could create some really cool effects. So just, you know, one example is we could create a, a way that we're popping out of our webcam border. So let's just call that pop, um, pop out, create a new, 
click on browse I've already navigated to it so I'm going to select that image click OK and I'm going to resize that place myself above it and now what I've done is I've created a green screen effect where it's like I'm coming out of the actual webcam border itself. I hope that makes sense to everyone. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave comments down below and I will get back to everyone as quickly as possible. If you go ahead and use this and create some really cool effects, jump into the Discord, ping me a message. I'd love to see some examples. Until next time, take care.